Good morning, y'all. I have a uh, storage shed today. Uh, this pallet's like all broken on the bottom, so it could be interesting uh, picking this off. I'm just waiting for the gardener to get out of the way. And he's good. All right, so we'll see how this goes with the broken pallet. All right. So this is normally, I normally side pick these. Um, the way the pallet's broken, I don't, I couldn't pick it off the back end if I wanted to. So I'm gonna slide it over. Get my force all the way in, tilt all the way back. And it looks like it hooked it enough to where it's not gonna fall forward off of the front of the forks. If it was wider, I might have an issue. So I'm gonna go ahead before I travel with this, get this all the way down. And it's light enough to where I can boom all the way out also without flipping over using my stabilizers. So yeah, it's still it's still got a little uh, wobble on the tips of the forks there. But uh, that's why I'm gonna travel with it down. If it does fall, it's not gonna fall dramatically. We'll see how it goes over the curb here. See, it almost fell, so I stopped. Now, the reason that almost fell off is because I was going down. So, it was tilting forward. And that's exactly why I had that lowered before I traveled with it. Because if I was to be in front of the driveway, and it did it then, uh, up high in the air, I would have dropped the box from three and a half feet up in the air, potentially damaging the product. So, there we go. The guy set his cones out for me. That's exactly where he wanted it. That's a perfect drop according to where the customer wanted it. And now the gardeners can get their truck back here and back to work. So, there's a real good example of how to deal with a, uh, a broken pallet. Um, I prevented that disaster from happening, potentially uh, with it falling off the forks by getting it down and traveling with it low. Now, you don't always have that option uh, if it was a heavier item. So that's something you need to consider at the store. Maybe, uh, getting a different pallet put underneath it. You could even just put a regular pallet underneath that. And uh, have that, you could have that regular pallet just banded to that, uh, to that big pallet. And then you'd just be using the little pallet to move it around with. So that's how you would uh, adjust for uh, that broken pallet at the store um, if you have to. So you gotta kinda know I, what I did was I took a look at the forklift that was loading it. I saw where the forks were inside of the uh, pallet and when it was loading. And it was the same forks that I have on my Moffat. It wasn't the big forklift at Home Depot. It was the, the smaller one that had the equivalent size uh, forks on it. So I knew I'd be okay. But I, as you can see, I almost dropped it. But it was at ground level. So there's uh, something for you guys to take into consideration that are new or maybe somebody that's never done one of these uh, shed deliveries before. So give me a like, give me a comment, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new and like to see more uh, content like this. And I'll uh, catch you all on the uh, next side.